actually you did change majors. I do, oh. I do remember. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh. It's just uh, crossed out his name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now everybody's focusing on that. Don't worry, I got it. We'll, we'll, we'll. <laughs> so I'm simulating that your paper might be thin for your poster. Might be. Some of you might have like something that's really good cover weight that doesn't need to be backed by something else. But so if you put this on black paper, it looks white, but it's not really, really white because as soon as we put this behind it. That's getting closer to white. Okay, so that's why you don't want to, you know, you want to make sure you double mount it before you mount it down to this. So what we're going to do, we're basically going to put spray, well, Super 77 on this, put it down on this, and we're going to put Super 77 on this, <laughs> and we're going to put it on this, and then we're going to cut it out, kind of be really nice about it, okay? All right, so. I've also created some things. Now, I know some of you don't want to use Super 77 or Spray Mint or Photo Mount. If you want to use PMA, that's, that's great. How many of you are going to use something like PMA? Or, uh, but I will, I will say don't use double-sided tape. Don't, don't try anything like that because it it'll, it'll show the error behind it. You won't be able to tell. You won't get a, the best edge. And you don't want it to come off. Okay, so these things work. I know that they're the hazardous environmentally <laughs> You know, not helpful ones, but they're the ones that I use, and I'm sorry, I'm a bad person. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take you guys outside and uh, huh? Oh, over here, over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to spray the one side, bring it back in here, and mount it onto my white piece of paper, and then I'll go back outside while you guys are still out there outside, and then I'll do the second one. Okay. Can't help this stuff. Hmm? You, can't <laughs> you can't what? Huff it. Huff it? Oh, I, we were talking about that yesterday in class. <laughs> Maybe I want to spice up my morning. You know? <laughs> you make your lungs stick together. I breathe in. I can't breathe Okay, so I think I showed you guys this trick in. Um, Graphics 30 last semester. Yes. Um, I usually have like a little box that's smaller than the surface that I'm trying to, to spray. And since I don't have a box, I made my little sawhorses. Don't you want the other piece of paper you want to I'm going to have to go mount it onto that and then I'll come back outside for the second one. But what I'm going to do here is just lay down my little sawhorses. And I really should put down some newspaper. It's a little windy. Oh man, it is windy, isn't it? Yeah, a little, 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 little bit of wind sucks. <laughs> but it's Hopefully it won't go flying away. You want to make sure that you check your nozzle. <laughs> See, there it goes, right there. There goes your poster. You want to do it in there. I'll be fast, I'll be fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like, I'm going to go in one direction with small bursts and then I'm going to go in the opposite direction with small bursts um, if the wind doesn't stop with going. Actually, if I can have you guys just like maybe make a ball right here. Just like stand. Make sure you're not pregnant if you're standing nearby. Okay. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this is so I don't have to grab it off the sidewalk. It's here you go. Yeah, grab the edge. Okay, here we go. I took my nozzle so I wouldn't get globs. Yeah, it's back. Film me walking back. Yeah. <laughs> Dramatic walk back. <laughs> Careful, Mario. Mario, careful. Careful, Mario. Just put a piece of paper over that. You did it, but it's okay. Maybe I want to burn it down before it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Now when you do this, make sure you're not coming at an angle because the can, 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 vapor can go underneath it. So. And the thing about this stuff is that once it once it goes on, it doesn't let go. So all right, so now we can go back. Now, when you lay it down, if you if you have to be really careful, like if you don't have a bigger piece, oh, so you're going to want to go corner down, corner down, and then you know lay it in. Um, that's if you don't have the luxury of cutting it out. Most of the time, I try to do things so I don't have to be that perfect with it. The other thing I found is it's bendable. You can go like this too. Mm -hmm. Shut up, no way. <laughs> okay, and then Jessica saw me do this without the paper, but uh, you, you want to burn this down, protect, protect your poster. We're doing a half scale version of the poster. All right, that's nice and down. And I'm going to break out my metal edged ruler. Now, this one has foam on it. And I, don't, I like that for inking, but I don't like it for cutting. This is a really nice ruler, but. I like Excalibur for my cutting. <laughs> I've had this thing forever. I remember buying it uh, from Michael's on sale during clearance. I think I got this for like two bucks. Ooh. It was crazy. So crazy. I'm going to put my piece of paper over this to protect the face of my poster. I want to make sure I clean this off with, I usually have alcohol swaps that I clean this off with. Then it dries immediately. Those little packs from CBS, you know, super super cheap. <laughs> now, this is an eye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you never let them play. What you do? Pack this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, when you're cutting with when you're cutting with a with a blade, uh, there's there's really no um, offset. When now, if I were inking or if I were using a pencil, uh, there's a little bit of a Play there because depending on how thick the lead is, it might it might move over. Same thing here with that with that little edge right there raised. I, I don't like that because I mean the only reason why it's raised is that when you're inking when the, that the ink won't bleed underneath the, the ruler. Okay. I don't need I, I don't need and I don't want that raised edge when I'm cutting stuff because I want wherever I put this ruler that's where I want the blade to go. So I'm gonna try to line these up right perfect with my crop marks. I'm gonna put the T square on my poster the face of my poster so that if my blade deviates, it doesn't cut into my poster, right? I'm also, because I've given myself the luxury of a bigger piece, I'm gonna start up high here, so I can, have, I can be in my groove thing by the time I get to the crop marks here, and know that I'm already correct. But I'm not gonna cut all the way through and out, because I don't wanna lose my crop marks. The fringe benefit of that is that I keep my corners protected when I cut the whole thing out like a cookie, okay? And you'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure this is all standing over it, Holding it down, and I'm also don't have my finger over the ruler. I think I've told you before. There's oh, like yeah. my DNA is somewhere in this room. Okay, Good. so if you find it, let me know. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. If you're going to bias it anyway, I'd bias it this way. You want to create a bevel, but don't do it the other way, or else you're going to have black edge sticking out. At some point, you're going to feel that it's gone all the way through. I like, personally, my preference is to go symmetrically, side to side. I worked in a lumber mill once one time, cutting spa deck pieces. And the quote that they always kept on using on us is, measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Is with 
guys coming out of Illustrator because you don't have to measure anything, right? It's just all, you know that this is the right size. That's right, that's true. Unless your printer was made in Kathmandu or something like that and it's not putting out correct dimensions. So again, remember I'm not going way out here. I don't want to cut off the whole thing. It's protecting my corner. <laughs> right, now the fun part. Get the close up here. Oh, sorry. I'll zoom in here real quick. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> I'm done. You're fired. It's not like we have those. So <laughs> <laughs> Demo has gone wrong. Oh my god, can't zoom out. Woo! Actually, the back. Yeah, the back. Yeah. Yeah, you just pick it up. What's he doing to my penis? It's too late. No, we're going to set it. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just going to be twice as big. It's going to be like this size. Right. Don't stop videoing the rest of the class. No. Yeah, okay. more hours. Got you. <laughs> All right, so any questions? You said don't use a number 11 blade. Is that the traditional? That's not right. Yeah, so you're going to have to like, leave such a dent in your finger. Yeah. How many times you're going to have to go over it. So a blade that fits a utility knife from Home Depot is going to be good. Okay, so it depends. I mean, I've seen, seen some that work well. Don't use that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't personally like these. You know, the ones where you can break the blades off? Mm. Because the blades can bend oh, when you're cutting. I bought one yesterday. <laughs> these ones, Shit. which have two sides to them, that you have to, you have to unscrew this to pull it out yes. and back in. They're really strong, and you can really sort of bear down on them. I got this from uh, University Art. This is, this is an Exacto. I don't think it's brand dependent, but something that's heavy. Don't get a cheap box cutter. Get get something that's you know all made. Okay, and again for this, you can get this at Walmart if the art store is not open. Uh, Super Seven Seven. There's um, Photo mount or spray mint. I know there's a mint. Mint. Photo not spray mint. mount. <laughs> or that's two different kinds of photo mount. Oh, the okay. And then the, oh, the ones that I've used in the past, I don't know if they've changed the packaging, but it was white and had like yellow. This one that's a 3M. Oh, what am I looking at? Oh, the oh, shit. Yeah. <gasps> craft, let, let's zoom in on that craft. Let's, let's. <laughs> Damn. Um, How's it look okay? <laughs> no, you should catch me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Not flash. You're not getting into the program. <laughs> 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 Do you have any um, suggestion for what to put our poster on before we mount it? Like, um, I would say, I mean, depending on the paper that, I mean, you saw how uh, much more paper came just between these right. pieces of 20 pound right. you know, text weight, so. I, I use I have, I have like a pad of Bristol. Like I buy that cheap Canson Bristol, mm -hmm. um, okay. or even or even the. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It just has to be somewhat. Uh, thick. It doesn't okay. have to, it doesn't have to be 60, 80 pound, gotcha. which is something. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfectly white either. If, if it's like you know not as white as your poster board, you know, probably you're using something pretty white, right. but it's not going to show through. It's just more just making it okay. Okay, are we good? The, uh, the black mount board, can we use the same weight that we use on the portfolio? I think yes. Mount board? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Four to five. Just, just, just core. No foam. No foam. No foam. No foam. No foam. No foam. Uh, we'll introduce, uh, we'll, we'll actually introduce some of that in the, uh, the Zoom project at the end, but not for a lot of you, just for a few days. Okay.
Yeah, don't you?